Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share some of the bag itches that I have yet to scratch. So if you guys are interested to see what I mean by that, then just keep watching. So basically bag itches are kind of like, you know how a lot of people have been getting the Hermes itch in the last 2023 and I feel like the end of 2022, it's just all about Hermes anything. Well, I'm not starting my Hermes journey anytime soon, but you guys know me that I am a bag collector. I'm not one of those people that don't like money sitting on the shelf and rightfully so, I totally understand what you mean, but collectors are like hoarders and we just like to have things things to make our collection complete for example one of the itches that i've already scratched is getting a chanel mini tweed just because tweed is so intertwined with chanel as a brand another itch would be having chanel black and gold together i feel like that's an itch as well i feel like bag itches obviously are very subjective to everybody's own collection so let's just start it off so the first bag itch that i have yet to scratch is gonna be getting a denim bag i definitely think my top two contenders right now is the dior carol bag that i missed out on but tried on and then also the chanel 22 bag in just the regular size that was like a two-tone denim with like pink sequins on it that one i really missed out as well the first bag that really gave me a denim bag itch for sure was the dior saddlebag in like a denim oblique print i believe sophie showhead has this bag and i absolutely fell in love with it i was able to try it on in person i think and see it in person but i think at the time i just bought something so i couldn't get it and this was seasonal i would actually love to get this on the pre-loved websites but i can't justify having two saddles in my collection don't, don't get me wrong i actually love the saddlebag i'm one of the few people that love the saddlebag i feel like so many people just complain about how you can't put stuff in it but it's easily one of my grab and go bags just because it's so easy going the grain leather all that stuff anyways i just want them to re-release this denim oblique print just in another wash of denim i think would be really nice but i think the denim shade that they picked was such a true like medium wash denim that i really really liked another denim bag is actually from bottega it was their jody bag i forgot if it was the teen size or the small size but it was kind of this like multi-colored denim i don't know if it was just the lighting of the picture but it kind of looked almost not metallic but like iridescent like there was a sheen to the denim as well they did have this small denim argo tote that i was this close to buying online but i just held back but i loved everything about that i loved even when it said bottega veneta on it it was in white like just that small little detail i really like i feel like the white with the denim really worked right now bottega has this like super dark wash denim and if you own anything from this then i'm so happy for you but for me this denim is like too dark of a wash for me personally i mean if i could really really pick and choose i would love to get the christian dior saddlebag in the dior denim oblique that would honestly be my favorite second tier i just really fell in love with the chanel 22 like that was chef's kiss for me like the little bit of pink and then the silver hardware i just i really liked okay so the next one is actually a color and i have yet to add a red colored bag in my collection so the very first red bag that i had in my head for the longest time was for sure a chanel mini square in lambskin with silver hardware like this combo was it for me i did want the burgundy walk at one point but for me burgundy and red are different like i would love to add a burgundy bag in my collection but i feel like i need a red bag in my collection my number one pick now honestly if they came out with a micro Detroit in red oh my god i would buy that so quickly you don't even understand and if they had it in patent then it would check another list which will be the next one we talk about in a second i just i would love to have a red bag just realistically i don't see myself buying a brand new chanel mini square anytime soon like the price is just too crazy i feel like for a mini square it's like over four thousand dollars that's just insane i know that the prada re-edition 2000 in red was actually super popular on social media like at one point the red and the blue one was really popular but for me i don't want like a red nylon bag i would prefer to have like a red leather bag i do have one little dior slg that was kind of my red stand-in in the moment it was part of like the valentine's day collection i think like two years ago or something it has a little red heart and i do know that they have this in like a pink version with the hearts on it which i think would be cute if they re-release this for valentine's day 
like just the red version i think that would be like chef's kiss amazing even though i say i would love to get the dior and the cloud blue if they had one in like a really nice red kind of a little brighter than the normal cherry i would totally get that one so the third bag itch that i've yet to scratch is a patent bag so i would love to get a dior patent bag obviously you guys know i've said it before so many times the lady dior bag is my all-time favorite bag shape style everything i love everything about it if i can lose every single bag in my collection and i can only buy one bag it would be lady dior not practical but as a collector and just a bag lover just the aesthetics of the mini lady dior is 10 out of 10 fantastic but besides the point if i could get the mini lady dior in patent that would be phenomenal i think they had this like pine green patent one that would be divine the price tag right now for retail is pretty insane it's starting prices like 5300 dollars which is crazy that used to be like the old medium boy bag price which is nuts and then the other thing too what i like about patent is that it just seems so easy going i've seen a lot of people's like bag collection videos the ones that have patent bags lady dior's in particular especially like the old one with the zipper on it a lot of people say if they live in like a humid or warm climate or where they store their bags there's not a lot of air circulation going around like the patent tends to stick which honestly makes sense so i do keep that in mind but i still really really want a patent bag they had this what is it the placid blue and patent oh my gosh that was beautiful too so beautiful i kind of put patent and vernis in the same category so if i were to ever get a vernis bag from let's say louis vuitton that would honestly check mark it for me i know chanel also has patent bags as well i don't know i don't really want a patent bag from chanel i'm leaning towards like a mini lady dior in patent one day i just definitely definitely want to add a patent bag in my collection okay so the next one is an embellished bag so what i mean by embellished is kind of like crystals or pearls or something like that dior did have a seasonal bag that they made permanent it's like the champagne golden pearl or something like that i remember when i saw it in a collection and i was so heartbroken that i couldn't buy it at the time and then now i notice it's still on the website like two to three years later so i'm sure it got super popular that they actually decided to make it permanent but i would love that one like that would be my dream one i just feel like dior does embellish the bags so so well just like fendi and chanel but they also had this like rainbowy crystal one that i thought was really pretty as well i think like the base of the bag was like silver and it was just like a bunch of jewels which was really nice i know chanel actually does like jeweled bags really pretty i guess more like charms they'll have like a walk that has like these not bobby pins but i'll put a picture like i love this i saw this in person and like i absolutely fell in love they had this available in like black and white i preferred the white one i know i think it was last season or maybe two seasons ago like within the last year they had this one collection i don't know exactly which one it was from so it was the base was black and there was like butterflies and it was like gold and dark silver or regular silver like all throughout it i thought that was really pretty too fendi i feel like they do sequins more than bejeweled things to be honest i know they have like beaded things but i'm leaning towards dior or chanel but honestly dior is definitely my favorite like that one that champagne one is like that is like the princess bag for sure and then just for like extra credit i would overlap embellished with a capucines with kind of like those stones on it there was this emeraldy teal color with like mother of the pearl on the front of it to me that's basically embellished as well so i would kind of merge them in the same category even though they're not really like jewels but like stone jewels you know so the next bag itch is another color for me personally and i want a mint and i mean like a soft pastel mint bag so desperately i've mentioned this before that this chanel round vanity circle bag this exact shade in the caviar was definitely a bag that got away if you haven't seen that video i'll link it somewhere here it's just this shade of mint was so utterly perfect for me i know lueve has a similar shade it's called like light celadon but the thing about light celadon it on one i've noticed that it's not a permanent color because if you check on the louis website there's not a lot of salad light sell it on pieces but you can find them on like bergdorf or like nordstrom if they have the stock left the thing about sell though is that the light sell is that on some lightings it looks white and then other lightings it looks like really soft green and i want it to be a little bit more green just like the chanel round vanity when you look at it you can see that it's a soft green where sell it on you're like is this white or is this green i tried on Celine did last year had this color called jade which is basically like the softest shade of mint possible lisa had or was seen in a campaign 
for I think it was like Japan Vogue or something with the mini 16 in this color but they didn't offer this color in America which I thought was very interesting and Celine Essay showed it to me it was the Triumph shoulder chain bag in the jade and this is the thing if they had this bag available in just the regular shoulder bag I would have gotten it but for me I'm just not really a fan of kind of like the rounded chain or the curved chain but the color was so so nice and then they actually didn't have it on the website but when I went to Nordstrom they had the belt bag in this color and I did try this on and I was just absolutely obsessed with it and I just I couldn't buy it I wanted to buy it so desperately but I think I was saving up for something where I just bought something yet again and it just wasn't meant to be and I'm just still on the hunt for this perfect shade of mint which is also really funny because because when I go get a pedicure I try to look for this color like in a nail polish at Ulta at Target at the salon and I can't find this color and it is the most perfect shade of green I know Luevi actually just came out with their Jade Lunar collection and and they have this shade called Spring Jade. I'm debating on getting it in a dice pocket or getting it just in the leather strap that they offer just to have like a little taste of that. But I definitely want to add a super soft mint seafoam greeny just pastel color in my collection because you guys know i love green and i just want just a variety of green i actually think that hermes has a bag in the shade i've screenshotted it before so i don't know exactly i'll definitely put the name up here but i've seen it on instagram and i was like oh my gosh like if i can't get the celine one i guess one day maybe i'll get it in this color because you guys know like hermes has like so many different shades and varieties of green too like from the softest to the deepest one honorable mention just in terms of, like a light green bag would definitely be Celine's Almond Vert that came out. I really like that. That's not really minty, but it was a very nice soft shade of green. I was debating on getting it in like the mini Triumph size just as like a souvenir to have the color to like have it satiate that urge but uh it's just i wouldn't use it like it would just be aesthetic and i don't want to buy something for aesthetic right now like i want something that i could actually use and be practical so one day one day one day the next bag itch is actually something in chanel chevron so i don't need to have every single chanel bag but i have caviar i have lambskin calfskin like i want a chevron bag my two top choices would be a chevron boy or a chevron trendy cc i just i feel like the chevron trendy ccs look so good i forgot if it was tamara or maria but one of them has this like gorgeous green trendy cc that's like absolutely stunning and in that same tone i nura i think i'm pronouncing her name wrong i'm so sorry she has this chanel boy with champagne gold hardware that no joke every time she pulls it out one it's beautiful absolutely stunning but it no joke reminds me of a rolex box like the actual bag when she puts it up on her thumbnail or in her videos like i just automatically think of a rolex box because the shade of green with the gold it just it looks so good one day like i hope to get chevron i do know that chevron is a little bit more expensive like if you take the same trendy cc and one is chevron and one is regular i do know the chevron i believe is like two to three hundred dollars more expensive i don't know with if with the price increase now there's an even bigger gap between the two but yeah i definitely want to add a chevron bag in my collection one day so the next one is also a color and it is to get a yellow or specifically a pastel yellow bag in my collection i've mentioned this before the dior caro bag in the pastel yellow was the yellow that got away from me i'm really hoping one day they re-release it it is no joke the shade of a stick of butter the emoji go into the market go get a tub of i can't believe it's not butter open that tub up that is the shade of this bag it's just unbelievably bright and soft and just perfect i do know that celine had this one shade called pollen it was a little too warm i don't need a mustard like i do like mustard bags but i don't need it but i need a pastel yellow i've seen like a classic flap i think on like a pre-loved website like coco approved like maybe two years ago or something where they had like a caviar baby yellow bag but obviously i couldn't buy it at the time and to be honest i haven't seen any brand other than dior replicate this color celine did also have another like softer shade of yellow last year i believe it was when yellow and lilac was really in still it was close but still not it and then valentino also had a yellow bag as well in like their one stud line which was the closest thing i could find but it's still just it wasn't 
it still on the hunt for my perfect yellow bag my dark butter is just it's too muted it's like borderline beige tan brown yellow so to me it's just it's not the same it's not the same and then the last bag itch i want to add is an epi leather bag specifically probably a louis vuitton epi leather either an epi canes bag probably i would have to get that vintage because i don't think they make epi canes bags anymore like retail or honestly after i saw that one picture of lisa holding her little epi alma i honestly i think i would get an epi alma because you guys know me i love the alma i know some, a lot of people actually sell their alma bbs but i love the alma i still use mine all the time i would love to get just like a smaller version and definitely i would get one with silver hardware just because my alma was with gold hardware so if i got an epi alma in silver that'd be nice actually going back to what i said about yellow they had yellow nano epi alma that i did see in person and this had silver hardware so i could check two itches in this one bag i could get epi another alma which is just like an imaginary itch and get my epi so i can hit two in one that would be a nice like double hit combo and then the last itch isn't really an itch but i just really want it and i can't stop thinking about it and i would love to get a rodeo pegasus charm i've just seen so many on fashion file i know that i think the system with rodeos even though it's just a bag charm you have to be like offered rodeos which i feel feel like is very interesting this is so expensive i believe rodeo's like starting it's like 850 dollars or maybe even 890 for sure i would want to get the pegasus ones i want the ones with the wings i think the wings are the cutest i've seen ones that are like brown black and white or even like with a pink wing or this green like malachite wing as well i think is really really cute i know some people say like their tails are like some are sh shooting up and then some are down i like the down ones for sure but i know this technically isn't a bag but this is definitely an itch that i need to scratch because before i even get a birkin or a kelly or whatever i actually want to get a rodeo and put it on my future mini anju i forgot who i was following one chinese youtuber she either lives in taiwan or china i don't remember exactly but she has a mini anju and she had the rodeo pegasus on it and ever since i saw her do that <gasps> chef's kiss i just i know some people don't like to make brands like to put an lv twilly on like a celine bag or vice versa or whatever but i like mixing brands i think it makes it fun i don't know but these two together i i'm gonna hope i can find the photo but if i can't i'm sorry but just imagine it with me i just feel like the vibes of that is so so cute so yeah that's my last bag itch even though it's not a bag itch it's a bag charm but isn't that so crazy that here i am complaining about 500 bag charms being like oh my gosh that's so expensive and here it is with tax so it'll be like an almost a thousand dollar bag charm like it's not even a bag it literally is just to hang as a decorative but yes alrighty guys we have come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my bag itches what are some of your bag itches that you haven't scratched yet i've seen like some people that have a full black and gold bag collections like they have 10 bags that are black and gold and like i just i need the diversity but it's also because i'm a hoarder and i'm a collector so that's why let me know down in the comments if you guys have any similar bag itches like me i feel like the most popular one is like having a red bag or having like a pink bag is really big i feel like my green and yellow might be a little bit weird but yes as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps for my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys